video, I'm going to show you how to use AutoDraw in order to make an acrostic name poem. So here's an example of something that I want to make. Now in a new tab, I'm going to start over. So I'm going to go to autodraw.com. And then if you already have something because you've been on AutoDraw before, for, if you already have something on your page, you can always go to the menu bar in the upper left hand corner and start over. And you can choose the size if you want a layout, a square, landscape square or portrait. So I'm going to choose landscape. And then I'm going to choose to type. So maybe I want my letters to be purple. And then you can change, this is where you change the font if you want and then the size, but I'm going to show you how to resize later. So if I type in my letters, so my name is G, and then I'll type again E, N, and then type one more A and I can resize so this is the select tool you can oops you can click and position them how you want to ah, undo is command or control Z and then you can what you can also do is you can select more than one and then you can resize so if I want to resize them all together I can resize them and then I'm going to type, and maybe I want a different color. I'm going to type what each letter stands for. So for this one, I said good listener. And for this one, I said eager to learn. And I can go through and I can retype every single letter or type every single phrase for each letter. But I'm going to stop there because I really want to show you this auto draw tool. So then if I wanted to make an image for good listener, I'm going to click on auto draw. Since I have blue selected, if I did this, it would, let's see, I'm going to just try and start to draw an ear. So auto draw take, uses artificial intelligence to kind of guess what you're drawing. So it says up here, do you mean, and then it goes through all of these options. Well. I actually do mean ear, so I'm going to select this one. And if for some reason I don't like the color that it is, I go to the select tool, then I hit the color that I want, black, and then I can, oops, let me select the ear, and then I choose the color that I want, black, ah, black. There we go. Now, the other cool thing about it is, is there's a fill tool. So now I can select this fill tool and maybe I want to fill the ear in with more of a skin color and I'm more of a tan uh, or a light brown color so I'll use that and then if I want to resize it I can select it and resize it and I'll show you auto draw one more time so I'm going to se select the auto draw tool I'm going to start to draw a light bulb and let's see if it guesses what I'm doing. If it doesn't guess it right away, you might need to try and draw it one more time, more than once. Or just my suggestion is to choose simple images. The simpler, the better. And remember I said if you want to change the color, you have to make sure that's selected. And then I'm going to change the color to black. And then I'm going to hit the fill tool and maybe I want the inside yellow and maybe I want the bottom part gray. There we go. And there's eager to learn. And then I would go through and I do the other letters and come out with my finished product. So that is how you use AutoDraw in order to create an acoustic name poem.